I think dovetails with what you write about in your book, Jennifer. Uh, the, the, our culture has probably never been more fascinated with angels than it, than it is right now. Yes. But as you mentioned last week, Satan himself appears as an angel of light. So mm -hmm. is this fascination, how, how does this fascination then play out? Is this necessarily a good thing that we're really uh, you know, focused on these, these messengers of God? Well, I think it's always a good thing to focus on what God is focusing on. And in this season, and I believe through the end times, you know, he is highlighting angels. You, you read the book of Revelation, angels are the stars. You know, Jesus Christ is the star, you know, but they, are, they're, they play a starring role in the end times. What you see in the world is a fascination uh, with the dark side, you know, mm. with the mm -hmm. fallen angels, mm -hmm. with the demons. You know, you see shows about it. You see, you, know, you see some shows that, that, that portray good angels, but they're not biblical. They've got it right. all skewed, you know, but you know what angels, one of the key messages that they're bringing is not doom and gloom. I don't know of any prophetic voice, a legitimate one that I respect uh, that is, is saying angels are coming and telling me that, you know, uh, the, the volcano is going to come and the earthquake is going to come. We're all going to die. They're speaking about a great awakening. They're speaking. Mm -hmm. Angels are about the last harvest, the, mm -hmm. the, the souls that God wants to bring in, giving strategies. And so I think that I agree with both of you. I've never been a doom and gloomer. I think we need to break the word curses that have been spoken over our nation Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, the angels, the Holy Amen. Spirit told me in 2007 that he's going to bring a third great awakening to this nation. And now we're seeing angels released on assignment with this message of hope. 